Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is August the 4th, 2020. Here to give you all this very quick video for Bitcoin and we need to talk about some things. We need to talk about whether or not Bitcoin, if it's still a buy after the plummet that occurred yesterday or the day before yesterday. So if this is your first time watching my video, you gotta see how easy it is on our price chart and how we're giving you a forecast as to what we expect the market trapper to do. Hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Relatively easy and simple. And then you can follow us on our own website, hefinancial.com. You guys want to see all of our other predictions and forecasts. It's that simple. Don't make it as difficult as what so many other technical analysts try to do. Because you can actually gauge and see the idea of where the market trapper is trying to take the value of these cryptocurrencies. And we're here to show you that. So make sure you, before you go, you like the video, you share it, you subscribe to our channel, and then join us on our website, hefinancial.com, and it is free. Now, we need to talk about what occurred in the market for Bitcoin, okay? Two days ago, August the 2nd, 2020, when we did our video the day before, we told you that $12,000 was going to be an area to see selling come through. So when this very widespread bar came through on the second, we wasn't nervous. We wasn't scared. We expected it to happen. This is where maintaining profitability comes in. When you expect that, that's why we TP the market on our video right here, which was on the 1st of August, we TP at $12,000 because we expected to see some selling come into the market and that's precisely what occurred on the third I'm sorry on the second now twelve thousand dollars was TP 3.31 percent profitability from where we were when we created this forecast simple let's get rid of it now, the question that you want to know or the question that you may be asking is, OK, twelve thousand dollars was found as restriction. What now? Can Bitcoin still move higher? Of course it can. The market got many shook, meaning that, yes, the spread was very wide. Yes, the movement lower was very quick, but it didn't induce mass hysteria to where you would expect the market to continue to fall. And another positive thing is when you look at Bitcoin on the weekly, the market still held support at $11,000. So we still have confirmation that yes, the market did show some weakness, but you know what? It's still showing us that $11,000 is going to be held for support. Now, going forward, you always want to have that expectation that the market can break 11,000 to the downside. But we're not necessarily seeing that as of yet in Bitcoin on a daily basis. So don't forget, as we continue to go forward throughout this week, throughout the month of August, do not forget this bar right here. Because this bar right here can be an indication of what's to come. Don't forget that. Because I'm still seeing instances to where $11,400 is a area of restriction on a daily to an hourly basis. And you can see that clearly right here. The market is not able to break $11,400. See it as what it is. You'll be better for it. So $11,400 is restriction from a daily time frame and lower, meaning hourly time frame as well. For our chart in Bitcoin, you can see a little bit better. That $11,000, 11400 excuse me, is restriction. So you're not confused, and I'm not confused. This is the next agenda for the trap to try to break above in Bitcoin. And right now, he's not ready. 
the project of trying to break 11,400 as of this particular time he's not ready over the last couple of hourly price bars you can see that weakness is still present definitely can see it right there on our hourly time frame that Bitcoin is not really giving us a lot of strength at the moment okay so let's play this forecast on a four hour chart We're going to play the weakness now i'm telling you that i'm not expecting the market of bitcoin to crash get a hold of yourself relax but we understand that the market in bitcoin is weak and we need to play that and we will so we're going to go with some weakness into the market for bitcoin our tp it's not going to be dramatic around eleven thousand dollars about two percent profitability in the forecast I won't be surprised to even see the trap try to come up here and hold this level $11,215 for support. Watch that too. So we might, we might want to skim off just a little bit there around $11,215 give or take in the market for Bitcoin. But looking at the market from a daily perspective. To a weekly eyes need to be focused on 11 grand period watch that okay so just because we're playing a small video for bitcoin on a four hour chart doesn't negate that the market of bitcoin is going to continue to move lower we're just playing the weakness on the four hour chart paying attention to 11,215 for support or even eleven thousand dollars ultimately now if I see strength coming to a market for Bitcoin at 11 grand, then that that confirms it gives a little bit more credibility that the market of Bitcoin is going to continue to try to move higher in price. So that's what I'm on the lookout for. Now, I want you to tell me what are you on the lookout for in Bitcoin in a sense of what direction it's going to go. Leave us a comment and join us. I'll talk to you later.